guys, welcome to SML Movies, The Candy Salesman by Sue Browser Logan. Now, I have not seen this, of course, because, you know, why would I be a reaction channel if this wasn't my first thoughts or my first reaction, you know? Then I'd just be fake, which I'm not. But honestly, I don't really know what to think of this episode. This one could be good, but it also could be bad at the same time because of just how vague the title seems. It seems like there's definitely going to be a salesman involved that is going to be selling candy. But anyways, guys, enough with me rambling. Original link's in the description. Make sure you subscribe to Super Browser Logan. Link's in the description. Let's get right into it. All right, class. This week, we're going to be doing a school fundraiser because the school is poor and can't afford my salary. So, you're going to go around... Sick. I mean, true. <laughs> what do we get out of it? Yeah. Ha-ha. I'm glad you asked, Junior. How many candy bars you sell determines what type of prize you get. See, if you sell five candy bars, you get this crappy shrinky that'll break in five minutes. That sucks. Dude, I can steal that from the dollar store. Yeah, nobody plays with slinkies. If you sell 20 candy bars, then you get this crappy harmonica that barely works. See? I mean... <laughs> It's a good, it's a okay, good, good sick. satire. Dude, the perfect homeless man if I had a harmonica. Yeah, I'm already good at blowing. And if you sell a hundred candy bars, now this is really crappy. If you sell a hundred candy bars, then you get this crappy little army guy who can parachute. So when you throw... Honestly, the fact that they're making fun of school fundraisers, fun, fundraisers, good. It's good. It's actually good commentary because it's... It's true. Junior, it's crappy. And if you sell 500 candy bars, then you get this gooey little hand thing that sticks to stuff. See, watch. That's so cool. I want it a sticky off. hand. Oh, yeah, dude. I want to slap a mess out of somebody. I already got sticky hands. And if you sell 1,000 candy bars, you get a bouncy ball. Just a bouncy ball? How many bouncy balls? You get one bouncy ball. Not two, not three, not four, but one bouncy ball. What a ripper. Well, hold on, Cody. Maybe it's a super bouncy ball that can bounce to space. I highly doubt that, Junior. And if you sell 5,000 candy balls, Damn. you get these crappy handcuffs. Okay, I need that. Okay, I think... I thought it was funny before, but I think we get it now. Candy balls, then you'll get these little annoying magnets that when you toss them in the air, they make the most annoying sound you've ever heard. Now listen. Whoa! Those magnets are so cool! Yeah, I want those, because I want to annoy my daddy with them. And if you sell 25,000 candy balls, then you get these off-brand Nerf guns, because I was too cheap to buy the real ones. Oh, Joseph, we have to get those. We can have an off-brand Nerf war. Oh, dude, we have to get those. Off-brand Nerf have war. Nerf guns at your house. Well, but, but these are off-brand. Yeah, you can never have too many. And crass, the grand prize, if you sell 50,000 candy bars, is a PlayStation 5 that my kids made in shop. <gasps> oh, my God. A PlayStation 5! And then you have a we racial have stereotype on top of that. Yes. Fifty thousand candy bars. It's doable. We can get it. We can get it. We can get it. So get to selling the candy bars, and remember they're a dollar a piece. Come on, guys, let's get to selling. Okay, dude. I will say it's an oh interesting God, premise, though. Candy bars so I can get a PlayStation Five in the sticky hand. Junior, you do realize you'd have to sell fifty thousand candy bars. Yeah. That's fifty thousand dollars. Easy work. No, no, Junior, not easy work. How do you plan on selling fifty thousand candy bars? Cody, it's easy. Look. We have these boxes, and each box has 52 candy bars in it. So we just have to sell the boxes. Junior, you'd have to sell 962 boxes. Yeah, so we just go up to 962 people and each sell them a box. But Junior, you don't know 962 people. You don't know that, Cody. I have a bunch of friends. I know 962 people. I know you, and I know Joseph, yep. and I know Chef PP. Junior, that's three people. Well... Well, Cody, you're being negative. You know Jeff Get it? Bezos he's started lonely. Amazon in his garage. Mm-hmm. Look at him now. What does that have to do with candy bars? He's a billionaire, Cody. Yeah, he's super successful, dude. Yeah, he started his own company by, in his garage. So, okay. so the, the main point is believe in yourself. Like, I believe we can sell these candy bars. I will say at the beginning joke with the whole school thing, that kind of was thrown into the ground. I just want to say that now, even though I'm not pausing and I probably should. But, you know, I just want to say that because I don't really care what's going on. That's only a hundred and... $156. $156. That's, that's all that is. I did the math in my head. So um, let's, let's go try to sell these Chef PP, okay? I feel like uh, I don't really have to listen to what they're uh, saying. Uh, uh, I don't even know what that is. All right, Cody. There's <laughs> Chef PP. I'm about to sell all these candy okay, bars. Watch chuckle. and learn. Hey, Chef PP. Show you. What do you want? Are you hungry? Uh, yeah, that's why I'm cooking. Well, what if I said you didn't have to cook? 
What if I said you could eat right now? Wait, did you order Uber Eats? No, even better. I got candy bars. Junior, I don't want candy bars for dinner. That's why I'm cooking this. Well, well what if you had them for dessert? I don't want dessert. Well, well, what if I said if you bought this whole box of candy, I'd be one step closer to getting a PlayStation 5? Well, wait, don't tell me this is one of those stupid school fundraising schemes. It is. Wait, Junior, it's not even worth it. It's a big scam. You have to sell so much, and the prices aren't even worth it. It's small prices. Well, I'm getting a PlayStation 5. I sell $50,000 worth, and look, look, all I need you to do is buy 52 candy bars. You There's can buy so Junior, many PlayStation 5s with that. I'm going to give it to you for candy. So can you buy the box, yes or no? No! All right, Cody, you try. With me, he said he didn't even have $52. Well, Cody, you try. He might say yes to you. Okay, fine. <sighs> hey, Chef PB. Oh, what do you want, Cody? You want to buy this whole box of candy? No! Didn't you just hear what I told <laughs> I you? I do like his lack of okay, enthusiasm. Okay, so why would you ask the same thing? I, uh, I don't know. What did he say? He said no. What? He said no. He didn't say no to you. Well, yes, he did. Well, are you kidding me? Chef PB, you said no to Cody, too? Yes, I said no to Cody, and I said no to you! I don't want any candy! Wow, Chef PB, there are starving kids in other countries that would love to eat a PlayStation 5. But, what? but you said no. Don't you that doesn't make sense! My uh, so what did Chef PB say? He said no, so you should go try. Okay, dude. Well, no, Junior. Why? Because Chef PB didn't buy from us, so he's not gonna buy from Joseph either. How do you know? Because he already told us no, so he's gonna tell Joseph no too. Can you tell the future, Cody? What? How do you know he's gonna say no, unless you can tell the future? What, Junior, he already told us he doesn't have enough money. So then who do we sell to, Cody? Somebody who actually has money. <sighs> who has money? Ooh, doctors! Yeah, 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 yeah they, do. they do. Yeah, yeah, we can sell to a doctor. I can call a doctor and pretend I'm having a heart attack and say the only way he can save my life is if he buys a box of chocolates. <sighs> Junior, that's not gonna work. That's what? a scam. Uh, you know, Cody, can you tell the future? <sighs> what's, the, what's the lottery numbers for next week? Junior, I don't know. Uh, well, I thought you could tell the future. So stop trying to predict what people are gonna do. So you guys go high, and I'm gonna call a doctor and pretend you I'm having a heart attack. You see me laughing at that future <laughs> joke? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Owie, oh, oh, God, ow, owie, ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. I'm having a heart attack. Oh no, are you okay? Oh god, it feels so bad. It feels like an elephant sitting on my chest. Like Cody's mom. You get it, Cody? Yeah. Owie, oh god. Uh oh, okay, uh, what, what do I do, kid? I, I don't know what to do in this situation. Oh, well, I read online that the only way to stop a heart attack is if you buy this whole box of chocolates for $52. Oh, okay, okay, let me go get my wallet. Oh, please hurry. Owie, oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh no. All I had was $40. What? You don't have $52? No, I'm $12 short. Oh, God, why? Please. And then God appears. Oh, why didn't I go to an ATM on the way here? Oh, God. Oh, I lost what? my debit card. Oh, no. What, 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 what? I, I feel like I'm feeling a little better. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, good. Then I don't have to buy the candy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh it's starting again. It's starting again. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I, I heard that um that there's a fire sale on candy, so so I'll sell you this whole box for $40. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I hope you feel better. Yes. <laughs> Look, Cody, he bought a box, so in That was just face. so stupid. I mean, I saw that coming. I knew exactly how that was going to go. It looks like I made money, Cody. What are you talking about? The box was worth $52, and you only sold it for $40. Well, well, how do you know there's 52 candy bars in that box? Because the box literally says 52 bars right on it. Well, have you opened up the box and counted 52 candy bars? <sighs> no. So there might be 40 in there. You don't know. Fine. Oh, wait, I forgot. You could tell the future. So, look, we made $40, so we only need... We need $49,960. What? That's how much we need? Yeah, I know. It's a lot. Oh, my God. We need to get to selling. We need to sell quick. Yeah. Okay, who do we know that loves candy? Hmm. Who do we know... That's Jeffy? Fat. Mm, hmm. fat. Who do we know that's waste is the size of the equator? Right, right, equator. Hmm. Who do we know that's so fat they have to Cody's their own mom, pool? I'm, I'm guessing. Hmm. Gravitational pool. Hmm. Who do we know that's that fat? Thank you. Ooh, ooh, Joseph, don't we know somebody whose parent is that fat? I don't know. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, it's like, it's like someone's mom, right? Junior, Junior, just say it. Oh, oh, yeah, Cody. Your mom. She's that fat. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, she's so fat. She would buy all our candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every box. Yeah, every single box. Oh, all right, Joseph, start loading up a U-Haul, all the boxes of candy. Oh, I'm going to call it a U-Haul. Yeah, we're going to get a big U-Haul truck full of candy bars, and we're going to try to sell it to you. I mean, we are going to sell it to your mom because she loves candy. She's going to eat all the candy. Junior, I've never seen her eat candy in my entire life. But yeah, you've never seen her eat it because she just devours it so fast. She's like a vacuum. It's like a magic trick. But anyway, so uh, yeah, let's go try to sell it to your mom. Okay. Uh, let's get all the candy. Mm. 
Tyrone, I was going through your phone, and the name of one of your contacts is Side Chick. Oh, oh uh, Side Chick? Um, baby, I'm a superhero. Yeah, 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 I'm a superhero. Why did I actually see that coming? I'm like, is he going to do a superhero thing? Because it sounds like Sidekick. Oh, <laughs> but, but, but she said, I want you so bad, Daddy. Oh, 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 uh, uh. Mo, oh, my superhero name is Daddy. Yeah, yeah. And she was, she want me to help her with these bad criminals. You know, I gotta save the day, baby. All right, Junior. There's my parents and my dad making excuses about cheating. Oh, I'm gonna sell a whole bunch of candy. Hey, you big fat stupid cow. Oh, hey, Cody and his friends. What y'all want? We're selling chocolate, and I was wondering if you'll buy a couple hundred boxes. Oh, I'm sorry, boys. I can't. I'm allergic to chocolate. Allergic to chocolate? You should take a certain type of chocolate. <laughs> you know what I mean? It melts in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 can you at least buy, like, at least one box? <sighs> I mean, I, I get it, but it's, like, so on the nose. Okay, I guess I can buy one box. Let me go get my purse. All right, how much is one box? $52. Oh, well, all I have is 100 well, We don't have any change. Oh, well, how much is two boxes? $104. I'm sorry, boys. I can't buy one. All I have is this 100 w Well, we could give you two boxes for 100 But But then I'd be $4 short. Unless you want me to do something else to make up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that, to be fair. If had more than $100, she would have bought all our candy. Yeah, dude. Junior, we lost $4. Look, we can write this $4 off on our taxes. What? Yeah, so look, how do we sell more candy now? Hmm. Ooh, we can go door to door and try to sell candy that way. Wait, Junior, it's nighttime. No one's going to want to buy candy from us at night. They'll think we're trick-or-treating. What? Junior, it's January. Well, maybe we're Chinese trick-or-treating. What? What does that mean? Well, because, like, you know, like, China's on the other side of the earth, so it's still, like, October for them. Junior. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we're going to go trick-or-treating, and we're going to They're actually candy. ahead of us Smell by a feet, day. Candy, well, not really, candy. no, by a certain a amount of hours. They're ahead Come of on, us. Guys. All right, guys, what house should we try to sell to first? Hmm. Ooh, ooh, dude, I like that house over there. Well, that house is still under construction. Ooh, guys, there's a guy laying down in the street. Wait, Junior, that's a homeless man. Don't point. Well, wait, we don't know if he's homeless. That could be Elon Musk in disguise. More like Elon Musky because he smells like pee. What? what? That's a homeless guy? What? Yeah. Well, that's sad. When do you think the last time he's eaten is? Well, I don't know. Well, let's go, see. Let's go offer him some candy. Well, Junior, he's too poor to afford candy. Hey, mister, are you homeless? Someone stole my shirt. Someone stole your shirt? Mm -hmm. Well, we're selling candy for a school fundraiser, and it's $52 for a box, so mm -hmm. can you buy some? Mm -hmm. Candy. Reese's Pieces. Yeah, we have Reese's Pieces. Do you want any? Uh, no, 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 no. You, you, can, you can't buy any unless you have money. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no money. No money. No money? Well, I guess I guess he really is homeless. He's he's not Elon Musk. No, obviously. You know what? I feel really bad. Look, you can have a box for free. Well, yeah, no, Junior, we're gonna lose money again. You know what? Have two. I feel sorry for you. You know, have three. You'll get another box. Get another box? Okay, dude. He's homeless, Cody. He, he hasn't eaten forever. Look, here, eat all the candy. Oh, all right, come on, Cody. Now. All right, guys, what house do we go to next? Guys, we just gave away three boxes of candy. That was worth $156. Cody, he was homeless. I mean, he'd be nice. Yeah, dude, have a heart. Yeah, who raised you, farm animals? Right? A oh, pig? Yeah, they did. Hey. They did pigs and cows. Yeah, his mom. Okay. All right, let's try that house. A lot right, of the go. same jokes All here. All right, guys, let's try to sell to this house. Hey, guys, what doing? Oh, hey, Jeffy, how many boxes of candy did you sell? <sighs> None. No one wants to spend $52 on a box of candy. I know, everyone's so poor. All right, All right let's try this house. Is it good? Were you poor kids? Yeah, I was. I called it. I literally called it. We're school fundraiser, and we're wondering if you want to buy any. Ew, that's poor people candy. I only eat caviar and filet mignon. Well, what do you have for dessert? Because you can buy some chocolate for dessert. Well, that's poor people dessert. I only eat solid gold, and it broke out all my teeth, so that's why I don't have any teeth. Well, well can you at least buy okay, like one box, Richard? We know you have money. Well, I would love to, but I can't because I spent ten million dollars on V bucks, and my dad caught me, and he got mad, and he took all my money and my credit cards. That sucks. Yeah. Well, there's no other way you can like buy a box, please. Well, I could buy some boxes if you guys accept Bitcoin. Cody, do we accept Bitcoin? I don't know. I mean, is Bitcoin valuable? Well, here, I have a bunch of Bitcoin. You can take that. It's okay. pretty valuable to me. All right, give them all the boxes of candy. Okay, dude. Uh.
Oh, yes. Guys, look at all the Bitcoin we got. Is that even a lot? Oh, it's a gold mine, Cody. I'm gonna get that PS5. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna get my sticky hand. Now I'm gonna get my magnets. Oh, I can't wait for school tomorrow. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be like all right, nothing. Crap. I sure hope you sold a lot of candy bars because my bills are past due. So, Junior I like how he only has like the four main characters on the board and nobody else. Cody and Joseph decided to add all our money together and we bought 32 Bitcoins. And at $37,000 a piece, that equals $1,184,000. So, Joseph wants the sticky hands, I want the PlayStation 5, Cody wants the handcuffs, and Jeffy wants the magnets. Wait, wait Junior, we raised over a million dollars. Why are we wasting it all on this junk? We don't need this stuff. Uh, I need the sticky hand and I need the magnets. And I want the PlayStation 5 and you need the handcuffs, so shut up, Cody. Yeah, yeah. guys. What a whole I mean, Cody does make a good no point. A million dollars? Okay. What are we doing? Uh, here you go, teacher. Oh, thank you for doing business, Junior. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get all our prizes. <sighs> guys, look at my magnet. Oh, that's so cool. Look at my PlayStation 5. Hey, Junior, I've been a bad girl. You want to help me take these handcuffs off? Oh, do it. Ah. <laughs> Don't slap me with your stupid sticky hand, Joseph. Oh, that's so cool. No, my PlayStation 5 is so cool. <laughs> Who's that? There's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, is it hello? Goodman? This is not a Bitcoin. What? It's a fake toy coin. No, it's a real Bitcoin. I got it from like this millionaire guy. You give me all the prizes back right now. Uh, uh okay. Uh, here you go. Oh, don't you ever try to scam me again. Guys, guys, our teacher was at the door and he said the Bitcoin we gave him were fake. What, they were fake? No way, dude. He said they were fake and he wanted all our prizes back. But I gave him back the PS5 box full of bricks. So he'll never notice it's full of bricks. Oh, that's smart, dude. He's going to notice it's full Junior, of bricks. I think he noticed. Oh. Well, I'm just not going to answer the door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, honestly, what do I have to say? I mean, yeah. I'd say it was okay. It was an old, it, it, it was, it was all right. A lot of the jokes were just thrown into the ground with this one. You know, you got the Cody's mom joke, the beginning with the school fundraiser joke that should have ended like a minute ago. And honestly, yeah, it really did seem like that they stretched it for time there at the beginning. I mean, I think the idea of the episode is there. I think a school fundraiser actually is not a bad idea because it's it's real and it's it's relatable and I feel like this does happen in real life you know like Girl Scouts and you know all the stuff like selling you know the cookies it's it's kind of like that but instead it's it's something different and I do like the idea I actually do like the idea it's a good idea but I just don't think it was executed that well I'd say the pacing is well done it it doesn't stop at any moment it's consistent the whole way through I'd say what brought this episode down for me is the comedy it's just it really does feel like they pan it out the only joke that I actually laughed at and I didn't expect was with Cody's mom. I did not expect that joke. That one actually made me laugh. But that was really it. That was really the only one. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye!